It's 8.30 p.m. on uh, Thursday, June 20th, 2024. And today was a hot day. It was in the 90s. <coughs> uh, the ram crossed the wire. But the other ram is here. And I can see... Uh, uh, let's see if you can see. You probably can't see. Just above that post, there's a little white speck. That is a rammy. He's about halfway between here and the sheep. There's a little bit of a hill there. So it looks like he's all the way there, but he's not. Um, so what I'm going to do is, next time I set up a row for the cows, maybe sooner rather than later, um, I'm going to put a double wire up to keep the rams where they're supposed to be so they don't wander off. And... Uh, put rammy with the rams as well so anyway the grass here is starting to change as we move towards the east it's starting to change to more and more dallas grass uh, the dallas grass can be up to my waist at least a seed head there's this grass here which i forget what that is it's a pretty looking grass though looks like it's drying out maybe it, it doesn't like the heat and uh yeah um the goal right now is, of course, we're just trying to uh, feed the cows, uh, not graze too much. Uh, we're just kind of in the summer mode right now where uh, we like these warm, humid days uh, because the Bermuda grass just soaks up all that uh, humidity and heat and turns it into food for the, the cows. And the cows just love that Bermuda grass. Um, they're, that's what they like to munch on. And... Uh, as we get further east in the field, it's going to turn more and more towards Dallas grass. Um, the western part is dominated more by, by Bermuda grass. And then the southern half is, I think the southern half is pretty similar. For some reason, the uh, Dallas grass does better on the eastern part of my pasture. It could have to do with the fact that I graze from uh, west to east. And so they put a little bit more pressure on the western side of the pasture than on the eastern side. Um, but I'm hesitant to say that's the reason. Just because, um, I don't know, we'll see. When I get to the part where I didn't graze in the westernmost part because of the bulls in my neighbor's pasture, they don't want them to jump the fence, then we'll see if there's a difference there or not. So I am seeing a bit of uh, goat weed, quite a bit of it actually here. So we might get a pretty good harvest of goat weed this year. Um, as I said before, that doesn't concern me in the slightest. So... In fact, I'm wondering if having multiple layers of vegetation will actually improve the growing conditions and make the ground even more fertile. And maybe the shade from the goat weed will provide a, a canopy and a cooling effect where the cool season grasses can grow uh, earlier in the year, um, like early autumn rather than late autumn. So we might get more forage out of that cool season grass. I'm seeing a bunch of grasshoppers, and grasshoppers don't concern me in the slightest. Um, I know that last year in August, we had a bunch of grasshoppers in this pasture, except for the one spot was where the Bermuda grass was up to my knees. Um, it was thick and dense and up to my knees, and there was not a single grasshopper there, nor was there any goat weed. So where the Bermuda grass is strongest, the grasshoppers are absent. So the grasshoppers are attacking weak, dying, and dead plants. And uh, just like we do with our animals, if you can't perform on this pasture, you don't get to stick around for next year, you know. And so if the grass has a hard time growing, uh, the grasshoppers are going to get it, which is what I want. I want to make room for the good grass that can grow strong and the things that actually help the soil improve fertility. So... Anyway, I did want to move the sheep tonight. I don't have time. The sun's setting right now as we speak. Um, so we're going to get the sun colors here. The sunset colors. And I'll come here probably late in the morning and move the sheep to a new row and move the cows to a new section, which will be the fourth section tomorrow morning. The fourth section, is that right? Three, four, yeah, four. Yeah, there's seven sections I'm going to move them in. And let's go take a look at what they did to the last section. Let's see how we're doing. We've got to consistently look and, and compare what they're getting versus what they had. Or versus what they did versus what they're getting. Making sure that we're not 
grazing too aggressively. Um, I did leave them out here for about an hour more than I wanted to, which shouldn't make a big difference. But, uh, oh my goodness. It's like a waterfall. <sighs> that was crazy. That's a good sign. I like lots of pee. That means they're drinking more water than they can handle. So this is what it looks like where they were. Um, and it looks like they got pretty close to the ground. I don't know, I, I don't like it. I honestly don't like it. I think they're taking more than one bite of the Bermuda grass. They're coming through, they're biting the Bermuda grass and they're taking a second bite, which isn't good. So, but they're leaving like, this is completely untouched. Over here is completely untouched. So they're leaving some spots just completely alone and they're grazing some spots twice. I don't know what to make of that. Huh. Do I give them more area? Hope they don't take two bites. What do I do? I don't know. The manure's looking fine. It's not piling up too high. But I don't like them taking two bites. I don't like them getting so close to the ground. That's not what I want to see. Yeah, the manure is perfectly fine. Well, it looks like it's only select spots. It's not everywhere. And I wonder if it's the Dallas grass that they're eating to the ground. Like this right here looks like it was Dallas grass right here. This stuff here, I was pretty sure there was no bare spots. I'm going to give them more area in the next row. I'm going to increase it by 50% and then we're going to see if that makes a difference. But so far I'm not happy. Like they're completely missing entire spots. Like here nobody ever grazed here. They just avoided that completely but they decided to go over to this spot here and graze it down to the ground. Like if I were mowing the pasture I would not mow it this short. This is just too much and I, I hesitate um, to continue because this is a bad sign to me. This is not what I want to see. So I'm wondering maybe I should give them 50% more area. Let's see how many more posts do I have in this area? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can probably get, um, I'll give them three posts, two posts for the evening to the morning, and then three posts and then we'll move them a little early to the next row and I'll make the next row 50 feet wider, so 50% wider. And we'll see if that improves, if... No, I wanna continue this row the way that I've been doing and I wanna see if this, this behavior continues or not. And then I'll make the next row bigger and then we'll adjust on the next row. So, does that mean that I'm gonna have a bad row if I overgraze this row? Yeah, but I can just skip it, right? or I can include it in another row. Give it a little longer to recover, something like that. So, anyway, that's what I got for you guys. Have a great day, take care, bye-bye.